After you've identified and greeted your patient, be sure to have him or her wash their hands with soap and warm water, then dry with non-recycled paper towels. With small children, ask them to clasp their hands together to avoid touching things until ready for the finger stick. The pinky side of the ring finger is a good choice for finger sticks. By holding the hand as shown, there is good management of the patient's hand and lower risk of infection as this is not a grabber finger. Cleanse the finger with alcohol using back and forth motion. Place the lancet such that it crosses the fingerprint lines to get a better droplet of blood. Puncture the finger and wipe away the first droplet of blood. It is contaminated with alcohol and tissue fluid. Turn the hand downward and using gentle side to side squeezing, not top to bottom, which will block blood flow to the fingertip, allow the blood to free flow onto the filter paper card. Do not touch the blood drop to the card before it falls. Do not shake the blood drop to get it to fall from the fingertip. This is what standardizes the testing from one collector to another. It's a bit like target practice and takes patience for the blood to fall to the card. If you happen to miss the center of the circle on the card, skip the next circle and move to the following one. The minimum specimen volume for testing is two drops of blood. Once you're finished, place gauze, not cotton, according to the newly updated standards of practice for phlebotomy, on the site and ask the patient, parent, or guardian to hold pressure on the finger. Discard your lancet into a sharps container immediately. Label the card with the patient's name and date of collection. Show the card to the patient, parent, or guardian to be sure it's labeled correctly. Cards must be allowed to dry for a minimum of four hours before being placed in the zipper baggies for shipment to the Indiana State Department of Health Laboratory for testing. Talk to the patient, parent, or guardian about the necessity of a bandage. These may be choking hazards for very small children. Once you're finished, thank your patient, parent, or guardian and answer any questions they may have.